good girl. You sit with me. This is my puppy you guys hear a lot in videos. Sweet puppy. Hey guys, it's Morgan, and I know it's been a while. Um, I have been working, <laughs> and I haven't really had time to record. And even whenever I did, I didn't like how those videos turned out, so I've literally just been drawing, and that's it. <laughs> Um, so today I know I really want to do a video talking about my experience getting my first comic printed. Last year, I just, I was on a trip and I decided, you know what, I'm actually going to... I created the story about 4Z. It started off really tiny and then it exploded and I was like, this is my gateway into making my universe. <laughs> so I immediately went home and I started making, I didn't really storyboard. The way, you see, the way I do comics is I, they're really cinematic in how they're framed and stuff, which comes in handy. Um, that's what makes it different from others. I am trying to, now I'm trying to like, make a more comic-y style, but really I always revert back to a cinematic look. All right, so this ginormous sketchbook, literally, it's huge. First step was to sketch the comic, and I sketched all the way through um, the first issue, and then I went back and inked it. Second, so I inked every single page. Um, and what's great is that I was able to, with my program, like if I screwed up, I could fix it digitally. But like if I put her too close, too far, or too center in a frame, like a circle, and move her over. And there are some things that didn't make it into the draft, it didn't make it into the final product. Like, this is the same flashback, just different. And, uh, because I'm still developing the story at the time. It was a very simple story, it's a little, little robot. No, oh, I spent so long on the lore, you guys. Um, she's what's called an animatron, and her sect is a secretary. And she gets, she crashed, there's a lot that you don't know, and she doesn't know. That's the thing, is that the first issue is very much her point of view, like seeing the world through her eyes. And then issue two it starts off similar, but it's from the point of view of this little girl that finds her. So it's a little more open, but not quite. And then, about halfway through issue two, it's gonna jump to space. And we are introduced to two characters that I love, Chos and Tred. They are, I guess, the equivalent of like adult animatrons. So you see the world from their eyes, so it's more kind of getting fleshed out, like what's happened, who are they, what is their plan, what is, what is this world, what's the overall story. So it's actually, I'm actually really excited about getting to that part. Inking and stuff was the fun part, and then came the coloring part. Now I, back then, was not the best at digital art. And the specifically digital coloring. That's why my stuff, my early stuff on Instagram, you can see, is all black and white traditional. Because I just, it's tough. I did it, I buckled down, and I colored the sucker. And I'm gonna be honest, it looks a lot better on the computer. And this is actually the second printing where I had to go back and fix things. So I'm gonna get to the part that you guys are probably waiting for, um, and that is how to print your comic. All right, so what I did, is I went to this um, website called Kablam, very great website. I got it um, from the artist Corey Taylor Art on Instagram. True inspiration, he was one of the first that I followed on Instagram and he's been. I went to that website and they make it very simple, you know, and it's actually pretty affordable. I mean, it's still gonna be, you know, like a batch of like 10 is gonna be about $50. Um, but if you just want one, then it'll, it'll only be like $12 probably. But you know, it's worth it, I think. Especially whenever you actually have it in your hand, it feels official. So, many mistakes I did the first time. One, I made it way too dark, um, color-wise. I thought back then that, hey, in order to make it realistic, get the shadow tool and just dump it over, over everything. So, you could hardly see. And I was very upset about that. I was not proud of it and I was gonna do like a first comic unboxing video and I was not I was not proud of it so I was like yeah I'm not gonna post this <laughs> so I redid it all again <laughs> redid it all again and then I 
uploaded the pages. It took me forever to figure out the sizing format. Um, I'll do a video on that sometime if you guys want to use Kablam. For the most part, it is like you, what you send, except it's going to be a bit darker, especially if you are doing a night scene. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be dark. So yeah, that was my experience, um, and it came. Uh, they they're great because they send you like confirmation emails and stuff, and they work with you on it. Like the reason why I feel like they were like, oh my god, this girl. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never done this before. The only printing experience I have is through the printer. Um, downstairs. I guess one important tip is to get all your pages and consolidate them into a PDF. Um, if that needs a tutorial, I'll let you know. Um, like, just let me know and I'll do it. It's pretty simple. But yeah, as of now, I mean, I don't... I really just printed it for friends and family. Um, for now. I think that if I ever... Um, not if. Like, whenever I get to about five or six issues, I'm going to make a consolidated uh, graphic novel um, package, and that'll be probably what I, you know, sell if anyone wants it. Um, I hope people want it, because this is the stepping stone into my little universe that I really, really want to create. I mean, it's all in my head, I just need to, you know, do it. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, sorry I'm not posting a lot. Um, I am going on a trip, and I'm actually, it's actually like a little nostalgia trip because it's going around the same time to the, not the same place, but around the area of, um, where I created Forzy. So I'm excited about that. And I created Nakoma on that trip. I created a lot of characters on that trip because it was a road trip. So, yeah. I really want to do videos talking about my own characters and stuff. Um... Because I'm, I say that now because I'm looking at one of my Western characters and I'm like, oh my god, she's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, but no one's asking me. So yeah, don't forget, um, if you want to follow my work, uh, go on Instagram at mhsketches. It's, uh, you see my day-to-day -day stuff. So it's really fun. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.